Okay, so this problem is also another um, conservation of angular momentum problem. Um, we have a block that is spinning around, okay, this uh, circle here, um, and it's pulled in to a new radius, and it begins to spin, unless it's square, begins to spin uh, with a new smaller radius, basically. So as we're pulling this string down, um, we're going to go from this larger radius, right? We're going to do some work to pull it down, and then we're going to go to a smaller radius. So we're going to change the kinetic energy by pulling it in. Okay, so let's look at what we're being asked to find here. So we want to know, is the angular momentum of the block conserved? Why or why not? Um, what is the new angular speed uh, in this smaller central uh, radius? And then find the change in kinetic energy of the block. And then how much work was done by pulling this cord down? Okay. So let's look at what they give us in the problem. So what, what do we have to work with? Um, so we know that the block itself has this mass. So we have this M block. So sometimes I think, I think it helps to write out everything that you have. So mass of the block, um, then what else? So the block is originally revolving at a distance of 0 0.3 uh, meters. So we know that RI is equal to 0 0.3 0 meters, okay. Um, and then we know that WI that they give us right here is equal to 1.75 radians per second. Okay. Um, the cord is pulled and then the, uh, let's see, shortening the radius and then the block revolves with a new radius. So RF is equal to 0 0.150 meters. So we have the, I think that's everything here, right? So we have the mass of the block, we have the initial radius and the initial angular velocity, and then the final radius. Okay, so let's set up what we know about, um, so it says, is angular momentum of the block conserved? So yes, angular momentum is conserved. The moment arm for the tension cord um, is uh, zero. So this, like the force for the tension exerts no torque. So if there's like a net torque, um, then it might take away, then it would take away from the angular momentum, but because there's no net torque on the block, we're pulling like straight, right? Um, through the rotational axis, it's not, it's going to still conserve the angular momentum. Okay. Um, so we're not generating a, generating a torque because we're pulling it this way, right? Which is towards the direction of rotation and towards that center of mass, right? So if we think about a force like pointing towards the center of mass, um, um, when we've dealt with those circle problems and we're trying to ask ourselves like, oh, does this create a torque? Like for example, weight coming out of an object, does that create a torque? No. Um, so in this case, the angular momentum of the system is conserved, right? Because we don't have a torque that's acting against it. Okay, so um, so what's it, what is the new angular speed here? Uh, so we have, um, okay, so, so first A, yes. Okay, um, and then for B, we basically have all of our pieces, right? We know Li is equal to Lf, um, and then for the initial um, for the initial angular momentum, we know that Wi I, I, uh, is going to be equal to um, Wf uh, I F here. Um, so the block can be treated as like a point mass. So we can say I is equal to MR squared, where R is the distance of the block from the hole. So we're gonna say that I is equal to MR squared. So this is just a point mass. Cause remember from like our sum of the mass moments of inertia, we, for each point mass, right? This is what we did. So we are just going to treat the block as one point mass. And we are going to use this for a mass moment of inertia, just based off of this, okay? Um, so our mass moment of inertia for our block, for our initial block, we have Wi times M of the block, right, times Ri squared is equal to Wf, right, um, times Mb, right, uh, times Rf squared, okay? So we can cancel out the mass from both sides, right? Um, and so we're trying to solve for Wf, so let's just, we'll algebraically do that first, and then let's figure out what we have to plug in. So we want the final. Um, so our final would be equal to W I R I squared over R F squared is equal to W F, right? 
So the initial time is just basically the change in radius squared. Um, so uh, that is going to be equal to 0 0.30 uh, meters over, what is our final? Uh, 0 0.150. So basically this is like one half, right, squared. Uh, and then what was our WI? Sorry, I changed the order here, but it should be the same. So 1.75 radians uh, per second. Uh, and that is going to be equal to seven radians per second. Okay, cool. So this is our uh, answer for WF here. Let me move that over so it's actually a little bit more visible. So we're not just like right up against that line. Okay, cool. So this is the WF. Okay. All right. So that was what they asked us. What's the new angular speed? This is the new angular speed seven radians per second, okay? Uh, and we found that because we know that momentum is conserved uh, and we just solved for our WF, okay? And we treated the block as a point mass.